What is up my fellow fly fishermen? Graham Ferguson here, host of Fly Casting Colorado. Uh, today we're going to fish the South Platte River, do some winter fishing. I'm um, here with Caddis Travis over, over yonder. Hopefully we uh, get on some good fish. Uh, we're getting on the water a little bit later in the afternoon. So uh, hopefully things have warmed up a little bit uh, and we can still find a spot on the water. So hope you guys enjoy the video and I will get back to you guys once we hit the water. It's freaking nice. Yeah. And there's a dead fish right there. It's rough. When you take your rod out, Travis, pull straight up so you don't hook the seat. Yeah. We'll be there at like, we'll be, we'll like come, we'll see you at like two, like 50. At this spot? Sure. Okay. Or how about you say three? Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll cross. See how deep it is. No, it isn't. Oh, that's a big fish. Dude, that's a huge fish. I hate it when people don't take care of their fish. You're good. What are you doing? Come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Up where? Yeah. Okay, give me one sec. Now the key to finding success when you're fly fishing in the winter all revolves around finding fish. As you can see, me and Travis moved around a lot before we found a good spot and decided to settle down and try to make the most out of each hole we found that we could find fish in. So every time we wouldn't fish a run unless it was either so fishy we had to or we saw fish in the hole. So make sure you're not taking a lot of time on water that doesn't have any fish in it and go find those fish and fish the runs that you know have them. Now it's time for Travis's tip of the week. Said it. Dude, they, last time I was here, Graham, they bite so soft. You really have to be like aware. This has been Travis's tip of the week. So this hole right up here was the first one that me and Travis saw that had a consistent amount of fish in it. So we decided to stop, undo our rigs, and get to fishing, making sure that we hit all the pockets and all the little seams and got a lot of good drifts through there to make sure that those tiny, tiny bugs get in front of those fish. There we go. T. Here we go. Nice little brown. Yeah. Oh, 
think we're just gonna. There he goes. Nice one. This is often something that's overlooked in winter fishing. Make sure you're that if you're going to release your fish, phone, you don't right? have to stick your hand in the water and guide the fish you're off. Just stick phone, your net right? under, let him swim out on his own so you don't get your hands frozen. Here we go. Another one on the egg. goes over there. There we go. It's a nice one. Stay on. Come on, stay on. Please stay on. Got him. That's a nice one. Juju. Hey T, would you mind? All right, sick. Yo, it's okay. Nice brown. Back into the water. Yeah. What a, that's a pro gamer move, my guy. Just like right here is good. What about that parking area over there? to walk There we go. There we go. That's a pretty good one. My phone died before I could get him in, but he's a pretty nice fish. Big old rainbow. There he goes. Nice.
There we go. No f That was a big fish. Nice. You want to just like throw them to me or something? Huh? Mm. Oh wait, it's shallow. No, dude, over here. Okay. Where? <laughs> Ready? Dude, I just went so far so fast. Oh, oh. guys so much for watching this video uh as of recording that and uploading it i am actually very sick i ended up getting a sinus infection that's so that's great as we all know but you know spring is coming up here in as soon as you know it it's gonna be fly fishing season again and we're gonna be able to get out on some of those warmer days get out fish some still water once that ice melts and all sorts of other stuff so I'm really looking forward to what the uh, 2020 season holds. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in uh, the next episode. Thank you for watching.